Robbie Walker. For the last several weeks, one primetime Robbie Walker has been competing for the affections of Tory Payne, one of the new, new ladies here in Ohio Valley Wrestling. And a couple weeks ago, he showed just how low he was willing to go to get it, guys. Oh, go to any lengths. Tell him, Shannon. Absolutely. I don't know why this is such a, a thing, though, because why would she want to go out with a guy like Tyler Matrix when she could have prime time right there, Robbie Walker? And his opponent from Jonesboro, Arkansas, Tony Gunn. Gunn Show sure rolled into E-Town, Kentucky last week in a two out of three falls contest with Bud Delight. I talked about the competitive nature, how it will go down in the books. One of the best two out of three falls matches I've ever seen. Gunn came out on the winning end of that contest. It was an incredible two out of three falls match. Again, I keep saying it over and over but you didn't get to see Barry Windham in his prime against Ricky Steamboat in his prime. But I have flashbacks to those two when I watch Bud Dwight and Tony Gunn. Of course, we've been telling the story about how Gunn has been coming, is coming back from injury, sat on the shelf with a surgically repaired shoulder for the better part of two years. Yeah, he had a torn labrium. I thought it was labrum. Tomato, but tomato. As Tony Gunn already going for his submission hold. He calls it the you'll tap out YTO, which is a variation of the Texas Cloverleaf. Yeah, Robbie's a lot smarter than that, though. He saw him going for it, quickly got to the ropes, broke it up. Y you're not dealing with your average wrestler here. Primetime right? Robbie Walker fixing his hair all pretty. He knows that Tori Payne's going to be watching from wherever she's watching from on her device while she's posting those pictures on her Instagram page. Of course, she got to look good. You know, if you look good, you feel good. That's what Robbie's doing. And Robbie Walker would feel good if he's feeling Tory Payne. Shoulder block by Robbie Walker on Tony Gunn. Leapfrog by Gunn and a hip toss. Scooping Walker and driving him down. Going for his shotgun. The reverse DDT. You see how quick you get out of that? Well, of course he's quick to get out of it. It was the beginning of the end for her. Prime time. Turn it around, Robbie. Actually, maybe you shouldn't. You might not like what you're going to see. And Tony Gunn. Bringing Robbie Walker in and sunset flip from the apron. They didn't get him. And again, going for that YTO. You'll tap out. And there you go. Once again, once again, Robbie getting to the ropes. Snapped Robbie Walker, whose head just bounced off the canvas like a watermelon. Like What's a watermelon. Look at this. Slingshot. Sending Walker into the turnbuckle, but catches a back elbow. Tony Gunn eats the back elbow by Walker. So you think Tori's back there watching this match right now? We know she's watching on some kind of device. And a two count you know, by I Tony Gunn. I wonder when you're looking at people who are watching, are Rocco and Big John watching this contest? They both have one more spot to fill on their teams for the 10-man tag April 29th at Run for the Ropes. Yeah, I mean, I've been asking that question forever. How come Robbie Walker hasn't been picked up by one of these teams? He's one of Who's the best ones out there left. Be. Two spots left. What about Tony Gunn? Bringing a wily battle-tested veteran into the 10 man yeah, tag. Yeah, I think he that may would be, be, but he's coming back from injury. Who's on a roll coming off a big win in E Town? Why, why not? He's coming back from injury, Gilbert. He's a liability. And Robbie Walker grabbing the face of Tony Gunn. Look, Looks like he's going to suplex him from the apron into no, the ring. No block. Gunn is not showing any signs of ring rust. Not at all. After coming back from that injury. In fact, I would say that Gunn is perhaps more focused singles competitor than we've ever seen before, Shannon the Dude. Oh, well, there's no doubt about that. He is on a roll, but... Cross body block from the top rope, case in point, leg is hooked, Robbie Walker's out in two. I just wonder how much of a comeback he can actually make. He's looking good so far, but how long can he keep this going? Gun hung up to dry over the top rope by prime time. With a hot shot, stun gun-like maneuver, and right after that throat, right after the throat in a cowardly and way, did Shannon. Did you honestly ask did you honestly ask why Tory Payne would choose Tyler Matrix over primetime Robbie Walker? Yeah, I asked that question. Tyler, 
Tyler Matrix is a young lion. I mean, if you are putting if you are putting money in somebody's stock here at OVW, why wouldn't you put it on a guy who has that uncanny ability to survive, that incredible drive to win? Why would you want to go out with a dork like that when you got somebody like Primetime Robbie Walker out here? Look at this guy. He exudes confidence. He's cocky. He's arrogant. He's everything you would want if you were a woman, right? And driving Tony Gunn down with a suplex. No hook of the leg and guns out in two. And a cocky cover, and yeah, that's where you may want to show a little interest in hooking the leg, but Robbie Walker keeps signaling for that elbow, doing a variation of the Brain Buster Bionic elbow. You know that Robbie Walker always walked that line between cocky and confident, but he, was, he fell off a few months back when he stabbed his old tag team partner in the back. Yeah, that's when he kind of turned it more to his mean streak, but you know what? That's gotten him a long way here in OVW, and if you're smart, He'll keep that up. And indeed, it looks like Robbie Walker's having a lot of success bringing that extra attitude on a veteran Tony Gunn. <laughs> Drives the knee down into the sternum, and Tony Gunn oh, is in danger of getting pinned here. And now Gunn gets the shoulder up. I thought he had him. Two and a half. Tony Gunn, who's had a series of classics with party starter Bud Dwight. You wonder if any team's been taken away from him after this past Saturday in E-Town, but Bud Dwight missing a knee drop. But Bud Dwight watching from the back as Robbie Walker gets clubbed by back elbows and clothesline in. Uh-oh, what's this? Tony Backdrop. Gunn driving Robbie Walker with the back suplex and going for the... Is he going for his submission, going for the YTO? Not again. Tony Gunn trying to hit the yield tap out Cloverleaf submission, but Robbie Walker kicks out. Look at that. He's so resourceful. He knew that was coming. He's one step ahead of Tony Gunn. Robbie Walker with a basement kick. Tori, Gotta be it. Tori, no, hey. Come here, Walker on top. Do it. Tori, no, Wait. it's good to hear from you. No, yeah. No, I had fun last We've night We've been joined too. by... You know, we're, uh, we're missing you tonight. What's he doing? Tyler Matrix on his phone. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what... Why's is he, he talking to Tory Payne? no idea you could move like that. Is Tyler Matrix on the phone with Tory Payne right now? A go-kart track is unreal. So, that's oh. what it seems hey, like. Ro Robbie, it's, it's Tory. It's Tory, look. Here. Oh, no, Ro Robbie's getting beat in the ring right now. No, I know. I think Robbie sucks, too. Hey, hey. Are they doing FaceTime? Prime time, Robbie Walker has lost complete focus on this match when the young lion came out. They are doing FaceTime. What's he trying to have a phone conversation during the match? Did prime time Robbie Walker forget that he was in the ring with Tony Gunn? Indeed, because Tony Gunn's clamping down the YTO. Modified Texas Cloverleaf, it's cinched in. While he's on FaceTime with Tory Payne. And Tory Payne is gonna have to watch him tap. That's unfair. Where's Tori at? Matrix, Tyler Matrix bringing Tori Payne out on FaceTime, and that is a first. I've never seen that before. While on FaceTime, tapping out to Tony Gunn's YTO.